Tune in to Radio Care's weekend special live or via podcast. Radio Care is hosted by Mike Howard, broadcasting from Coventry to the world. Hello and welcome to Radio Care. It's Sunday night and it's a special show tonight. It's exactly a year ago from the 27th of February last year when I started um, Radio Care and did the very first episode um, on some equipment which I just sort of purchased and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, But hopefully a year later I know um, a bit more about what I'm supposed to be doing and um, I seem to get people listening so um, I must be doing something right. So tonight's theme is, it's the birthday, but I weren't going to put birthday songs in. I thought I'd go for a uh, era of music which um, I absolutely loved, and that was the 80s. So to take you back to the 80s, and if you think of Thursday evenings, before EastEnders he even came about, everyone used to watch Top of the Pops. Everyone used to sit down with their families and watch Top of the Pops, and this would be a sound that you would have heard from 1981. What a tune, I bet that takes you back to Thursday evenings, sitting around the telly with your family and watching Top of the Pops. That was Yellow Pearl by um, Finn Lizzie's frontman, Phil Linnett. Originally um, for his solo album, um, Solo in Soho, um, the song was written with Linnett and uh, Madure. So that's why you've got very much sort of a, an electronic sort of sound, that sort of synth sound going on um, at the time. I uh, didn't know that Amadou um, had actually joined sort of a uh, Finn Lizzy um, for a, a, a small period of time, so that's why they were sort of working together. But that became the theme tune for Top of the Pops from 1981 to 1986. So welcome if you just joined us on Radio Care tonight. We're celebrating the first year, so we've been going a year. Radio Care has been going a whole year, exactly a year ago tonight on the 27th of February. 
So tonight I've chosen sort of like to go with a favourite era of music for me, and that's the 80s. I love the 80s. I was a teenager in the 80s, um, and it's just a brilliant sort of uh, period of music. I know uh, most people would probably say their their own sort of uh, era of music sort of um, when they were teenagers was probably the best, but the 80s definitely um, for me, and I know for a lot of the listeners out there. So this next one is one from OMD, um, and they were ahead of their time really as a sort of a synth band. They were sort of like one of the ones that sort of brought in a lot of the uh, sort of synth bands at the time, and this one is Messages.
And that was OMD Messages from 1980. It featured on their um, album, um, self-titled debut studio album uh, from 1980. And this song was re-recorded as a single sort of to be released um, off the album. And it was the third and final single from that album to be released. It reached number 13 on the UK singles charts and became OMD's first top 40 uh, entry. As a debut single, um, Electricity, also from that album, um, featured uh, a melodic synth break instead of sung choruses. And you tended to sort of find that with OMD. Um, there was a lot of sort of uh, synth breaks which extended their sort of uh, songs. So welcome if you just joined us to uh, Radio Care. It's uh, an anniversary night. We're celebrating one year of Radio Care. And what better way to do that than to play some songs from the 80s because I absolutely love them. So this next one, um, it's not a particularly sort of um, a famous one. You you may have heard of it. It depends on how um, geeky, if you're like me, if you're geeky and into music, you probably sort of would have heard it at some stage. Um, This one is called uh, Major Tom Coming Home, and it's by a German artist called Peter Schilling. And it featured probably in the last sort of four years on a TV series. There was a German TV series called Deutschland. Um, Deutschland 83, 86 and 89 which was about sort of um, basically the Cold War, East and West Germany, and it was about espionage and spying and sort of stuff like that. And this featured as the um, title song in that, but um, it was quite a famous song um, in Europe um, in the early 80s. So here we have it.
that's what I love about Radio Care. I sort of find some songs that you've probably never heard of or ones you just haven't heard of for such a long time and they just sort of trigger off sort of their memories in your mind. So that was Peter Shillings and um, Major Tom coming home from 1983. Um, German artist, as I said, and it was from his album, um, Error in the System. And it got to number one in West Germany, Austria and Switzerland. And that was a German version. And then the English version was first released um, in the United States um, in September of 83, reaching number one in Canada, number four in South Africa, peaking at number 14 on the US Billboard Hot 100. And it got to number 42 in the UK singles charts. So there you have it. So I'm just looking at the figures and I'm so uh, honoured really. We've got up to 2,753 people listening already. So thank you so much for joining Radio Care. It really sort of makes a difference every week. And um, as I sort of say every week when I sort of explain why I set up Radio Care, Radio Care was set up to say a big thank you to family carers and um, all carers really, those that are sort of uh, unpaid as family carers looking after loved ones or um, those that are working sort of within um, the care industry. So either working in residential care, working in domiciliary care, sort of going out to sort of people's houses and those that are working um, on the wards um, for the NHS, so the nurses and doctors and medical teams and paramedics and everyone that's sort of involved in looking after someone it's just to say a big thank you for all you've done sort of through this awful pandemic and um hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel um you know as we sort of like move on through it but i'm not going to stop doing radio care because it's about getting that message out there and making sure people sort of uh, remember sort of uh, to thank the sort of her uh, carers that have uh, contributed so much um in the uk um and save the government that sort of uh, afford tune so thank you so much so this next one is one from flock of seagulls and this one is i ran so far away
If you love great music and some gentle banter, you're in the right place. Listen to Radio Care, broadcasting from Coventry. Absolutely, broadcasting from Coventry in the West Midlands, in the UK, in Europe, in the universe, in the world. I was going to go into Buzz Lightyear like I used to. I um, haven't done that for a while. That was Flock of Seagulls, and I ran far away from 1982. It was from um, their debut self-titled album, and it topped the charts in Australia, reached number one, no, number seven in New Zealand, number nine in the United States, but it failed to make it into the top 40 in the UK, which is where they come from. Can't understand that because that's such a great song, sort of from the early 80s. Um, So that was our loss, really. So this next one is one from um, The Cure. I'm going to dedicate this um, to my cousin, um, Kathy. Um, I know she listens from time to time. Um, Kathy lives down in London, not far from um, sort of Hampstead Heath. And, um, if, you know, growing up and that, we sort of had sort of like a period where we sort of didn't see each other for a long while. Um, but we're in sort of regular sort of contact now. So sort of we speak to each other on the phone sort of every couple of weeks and that. But I didn't know that she was sort of into the cure sort of uh, when she was a teenager. And she didn't know that I was into the cure sort of like uh, in my sort of uh, late teens. Uh, and we liked a lot of similar music. So um, this one is for Kathy and this one is The Walk by the Cure.
And what a great song that was by The Cure. That was The Walk from 1983. That was from their album Japanese Whispers. And it says that it was um, one of their first um, top 20 hits. It peaked at number 12. And it was the first of 17 consecutive top 20 Irish hits between 1983 and 1992. So this next one is one from the Eurythmics and this one is another one from 1983 and this one is Love as a Stranger. You know, it's great listening to some of these songs. I haven't heard them for such a long time. And when I'm sort of like going through sort of tunes and sort of picking them and that and just seeing what I think might sort of work on a set list, um, I just sort of listen to them quickly. But actually sitting there with the headphones on now and sort of listening to them, um, yeah, sort of realise how good sort of uh, the songs are. So that was Love is a Stranger by the Eurythmics. 
originally released in 1982, um, but at that stage it was uh, unsuccessful um, commercially, um, and it was re-released in 1983, and that was following um, the success of Sweet Dreams Are Made Of These. Um, when it was re-released, it reached number six in the uh, UK singles charts. Um, the single was also released um, just as the uh, album track reached number one, um, entering the Billboard Hot 100 at number 81 in September 83 and then peaking at number 23 in November of that year. The song spent 13 weeks on the charts over there. So there you have it. Um, just looking at the figures again, it's so nice to have people sort of join me and we're up to 6,245 people listening. So thank you so much uh, from wherever you're listening in the world i know that i get listeners from all over the place sort of all over europe the states um new zealand um india a lot of people in india that sort of uh, tune in and sort of uh, listen um yeah so it's just so brilliant and sort of wonderful that you do sort of like tune in so i hope you sort of enjoying the set tonight um yeah, I've chosen sort of like a, a period of music that um, I really enjoyed. Um, the 80s was really my teenage years. And um, yeah, it's just sort of fantastic time sort of um, with the fashions and music and films and all sorts of things. You know, it was a really sort of a great time sort of to be. But I know if you talk to people who were sort of like they would say the 70s was or the 60s was, um but um and probably hear people nowadays probably saying that the um the noughties was sort of um the best time um to be around sort of listening to music i might beg to differ on that one so this one is one from bronsky beat it's from 1984 and this one is probably one of my favorites by them this is small town boy
And that was the unmistakable voice of uh, Jimmy Somerville in Bronsky Beat from 1984. It was from the debut album Age of Consent, released in December of 84. The song was a big commercial success, reaching number three um, in the UK, and it was a number one hit in the Netherlands, Belgium, and a top ten in uh, Australia, Canada, and France, Ireland, Italy, Switzerland, and West Germany. The track reached number 48 on the US pop charts, and it reached number one on the US dance hit charts. I say it every week, or I've said it quite a bit. In the US, there is so many charts sort of like to choose from that I'm sure if you released a song and you couldn't get it into the chart you wanted to, it would find a place somewhere and you'd get a hit um, out of it. So this next one is one from the Thompson Twins. This one is from 1983, and this one is Love On Your Side. And that was the Thompson Twins from 1983 and Love on Your Side. I always smile when I sort of hear the Thompson Twins. Um, when I, uh, you, I, if you know where the name sort of like comes from with the Thompson Twins, um, they kind of got it from uh, a, 
uh, the two bumbling sort of detectives that are in um, the uh, Tintin, sort of Ventures of Tintin sort of uh, stories um, and that. And um, when I worked for the um, sort of job centre years ago, um, because of my quiffed up hair, I used to be called Tintin. So that sort of kind of makes me smile um, about that. Anyway, that song was Love On Your Side from 1983. It was from their um, third studio album, Quick Step and Sidekick, and um, which was renamed Sidekicks in the US in 1983. It was a band's first top 10 hit, reaching number 9 in the UK and number 45 in the US. So welcome if you just joined us on Radio Care. Um, tonight is celebrating uh, one year, one year ago, exactly one year ago um, tonight since I started um, Radio Care. And we seem to have come a long way since then. I think there is probably about 51, maybe 51, 52 shows Um I'll have to sort of check on um, Spotify and Spreaker just sort of like to have a look. Possibly 51 sort of first shows which I've recorded. And I've done like uh, one show nearly every week. Um, there's only been sort of a couple of occasions when I sort of had a week off and that. But sometimes I've done sort of two shows. Um, so it's all sort of worked itself uh, out. But um, I, I do sort of radio care to say a thank you sort of like to all those family carers out there, as I sort of mentioned earlier on. And I work for an organisation called Carers Trust Heart of England um, in Coventry and we support family carers in Coventry and Warwickshire um, and um, it was kind of sort of through the work that I do um, there um, sort of supporting carers and particularly in the support groups um, that we have I have a, a group called Tea at Free um, on a Wednesday but I also have um, one which is called Across the Spectrum which is for carers um, of autistic individuals so anyone that's got a family member with autism um, uh, parents sort of like come together and it's a peer support group so it's a really sort of popular one but there's all sorts of activities um, take place sort of at um, Carers Trust Heart of England um, we also have the wellbeing team that do sort of like the um, uh, information advice and support and um, yeah get in touch um, check out your local sort of carer centres um, up and down sort of the country if you're in the UK you'll be able to sort of like look them up look up carers trust and there should be some sort of branch that's sort of um local sort of um to your area um i'm also a facilitator on a course called the hope course um and that's a fantastic course um which is run by hope for the community which is um part of um a community um initiative um in in Coventry um it was originally sort of set up with Coventry sort of university and it's about sort of giving people um the tools and the skills and um, sort of like to cope better so there's a lot of sort of mindfulness the particular one that we're doing at the moment is hope for the carers um and it's about sort of them sort of recognizing their own sort of health and sort of well-being sort of needs and trying to sort of find that time to sort of like to have breaks so um it's well worthwhile doing and um I love sort of doing the uh, facilitating on that Anyway, let's get back to the show. This next one is probably one of my favourite ones from Soft Cell. And this one is Say Hello, Wave Goodbye. Standing in the door of the pink flamingo Crying in the rain It was a kind of so, so love and a Gonna make sure it never happens again You and I, it had to be the standing choke of the year You were asleep around, lost and found And not for me, I fear Try to make it work You in a cocktail skirt And me in a suit Well it just wasn't me You're used to wearing less And now your life's a mess So insecure you see I put up with all the scenes And this is one scene That's going to be played my way
red light I can see the makeup sliding down Hey little girl, you will always make up So take off that unbecoming frown What about me? Well, I'll find someone That's not going cheap in the sales A nice little housewife will give me a steady life And won't keep going off the rails Take your hands off me I don't belong to you, you see Quite a while now And to keep you secret Has been hell Where strangers meeting For the first time, okay? Just smile and say hello Oh, that takes me back. That was Soft Cell and Say Hello, Wave Goodbye from 1982. It was released on their non-stop um, erotic uh, cabaret uh, album. And um, it was in January 1982, reached number three on the UK singles charts. So this next one is one from Visage and it's Fade to Grey. Devenir 
des notes, une chanson lointaine, sortant des dernières atmosphères, espérant que la vie ne fût aussi longue. That was Fade to Grey by Visage from 1980. Um, I probably, oh, I'm trying to think, probably around about May last year I'd done an 80s uh, show. Um, and then I think I did do a, like an electronic 80s one. But I actually played a mature version um, of this song um, because he co-wrote sort of some of it. Um, so there was um, quite a bit sort of like sort of going on, um, sort of... Um, between, I was it Rusty Egan? I'm trying to sort of think of the name. There's a lot of background noise uh, uh, I can hear sort of at the moment. I seem to be picking up. So if I just sort of move on with the show um, and then I'll sort of come back to it. This one is a song called Obsession from An Emotion.
And that was An Emotion and Obsession from 1984. Going back to the previous song, um, before I sort of picked up sort of uh, some sort of noises sort of like going on, um, Fade to Grey um, by Visage. I was saying that uh, Madure had co-written it with um, Rusty Egan, but it was also Steve Strange who was the lead vocals um, in sort of Visage at the time. And I think they'd actually done sort of a, a fair bit of work together. It entered the singles charts in late of 1980 got to number eight on the uk singles charts and reached number one in germany and in switzerland the song i've just played obsession by annie uh, motion um in 1984 was a hit song um got to number six in the states number five in united kingdom and it was a distinctive sort of a video that helped it sort of being plugged sort of on mtv sort of at the time um yeah, great song. And I just wanted to say I've been checking the numbers and we're up to just over 10,300 people listening. So thank you so much to everyone that's tuning in to Radio Care tonight. I'm celebrating um, one year, one year ago today since I've done the first show. And like I say, said earlier, hopefully I've come a long way since then. And I've had a lot of support from sort of uh, regular listeners. Um, you all know who you are. People have sort of been listening um, every week. Um, at bar 72 and over in rugby and down south and up in scotland and new zealand and all over the place um you know lots of people in coventry in london um in norfolk in great yarmouth um in norwich um you know i can't sort of thank you all enough um wherever you've been listening sort of uh, in the uk and it's changing all the time i was sort of looking at um the places earlier on um and there's a lot of new sort of towns um coming on there where people are actually sort of downloading um the podcast because when i finish the show i upload it um to spreaker um and you can sort of listen to it whenever you want to and that's sort of like the wonderful thing about sort of doing um a show like this I don't get paid for doing it. I actually pay for the privilege of being able sort of like to do this. So, um, and, and it's my pleasure sort of like to do it. It's a hobby that I enjoy doing. Um, and long may it last. So this next one is one by Queen. And, um, this one is Radio Gaga.
Radio Care is a quirky old school radio show playing music from the 60s to present day. Radio Care wants to connect with you through music. Absolutely, that's what Radio Care is about. It's about connecting people with music and um, hopefully I am sort of doing that. Music is a great way of sort of connecting people um, and also um, sort of just bringing back those sort of um, positive sort of memories, hopefully positive uh, memories. Um, for me, I've got sort of one of their minds where I could listen to a song and that kind of takes me back sort of to the first time that I sort of heard the uh, the track. Um, I don't know why, Um it's just sort of um, one of my sort of quirky things that sort of I, I have. So this song um, is one by Ultravox. Um, I have played it before. I think I played it on a show last year. Um, it's one of the most famous ones. Um, it's famous for the wrong reasons, though. And I'll explain in a minute. This one is Vienna by Ultravox.
I remember watching that one on Top of the Pops. I uh, remember he had a, a black and white um, sort of video to it when it was sort of really popular, sort of like um, in the early 80s, sort of like for bands to um, have a really good sort of video um, of their song. So Vienna released in 1980, it appeared on their 1980 um, album, actually released in 81, but appeared on their 1980 album, um, Vienna. Um, it was released in the January of 81 and is regarded as one of sort of like those uh, simp pop sort of classics. It's one that you would sort of automatically sort of recognise. Um, it was performed in 1985 at a Live Aid concert at Wembley Stadium and it is Ultravox sort of a signature tune. Now, I, I've told this story before. I went to see Ultravox, um, must have been about 1986, and I was really disappointed with them. I weren't that impressed um, sort of uh, with what I saw. But, you know, in, in recent years, probably in the last sort of five or six years, um, I've been sort of like to see um, Madure, and um, he is fantastic. You know, seeing him performing and sort of singing um, sort of changed my mind, um, you know, and made up for the uh, 1986 concert. Now, I said that it was a uh, famous sort of like for the wrong reasons. Um, the reason is it is spent sort of um, four consecutive weeks at number two in the UK singles charts. Uh, it was kept off the top spot by John Lennon's woman because John Lennon had been sort of uh, shot in December 1980. Um, so that's understandable. But then it was held off the top spot by Joe Dulcey's um, Shut Up Your Face uh, for a further three weeks. Um, what a song, eh? To be sort of held off the uh, sort of number one spot with. But yeah, Vienna is a classic song. Definitely a classic 80s song that you would associate um, with that sort of uh, decade of uh, music. So this next one is one by Talk Talk. I played a song by Talk Talk last week. And this is probably uh, another one of their sort of uh, more popular sort of famous ones. This one is It's My Life. Thank you. 
And that was Talk Talk, It's My Life from 1984. Um, it was, um, when did it get released? That was first released as a single in January 84, reaching number 46 on the UK singles charts. But it did better in several other uh, countries, reaching number three, 33 in Germany, number 32 in New Zealand and number 25 in France. In North America, it entered the top 40 in both the uh, United States at uh, number 31 and Canada at number 30. Peaked at number one on the US Dance Club um, song charts. It does say that the single was re-released um, in the UK in 1985, but only reached number 93. Um, and again, I think they tried to promote it again, sort of like for a... Uh, like a, a best of type album um, in 1990 um, it did actually get sort of uh, to number 13 um, in the uh, UK singles charts then so persistence does sort of pay off doesn't it so this next one is, is definitely a classic it's one that um, lots of the TV shows and the polls that they do for the uh, 1980s um, has on it um, this one is Dead or Alive and it's You Spin Me Round and I've been very careful because there's a version which goes on for about 9 minutes maybe sort of more I think I found the one which is the, the radio edit so it shouldn't be as long Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Round from 1985. It featured on their album Youthquake, um, 
Dead or Alive were fronted by uh, Pete Burns, um, who sort of went on to do all sorts of things. He appeared on many, many um, of these 80s sort of shows. Um, I think he might have done Big Brother at sort of uh, some stage. Sadly, he's no longer with us. Um, but he was a character in his own right, wasn't he? Um, definitely was. Um, it says that the single was released in November of 84. It reached number one in the UK in March of 85. Um, taking 17 weeks to get there, it was the first UK number one hit by Stock Aikman and Waterman um, production trio. Um, the US side, it got to the Billboard Hot 100, peaked at number 11 uh, in that year. And in 2003, Q ranked the song as 981 in their list of uh, 1,001 um, best ever songs. There you have it. So this another one, this next one is one from um, 1983. And this always reminds me of sort of moving. Um, I grew up in, a, I've mentioned it loads of times before, I grew up in an area in Hertfordshire called um, Chesant. And um, basically we moved from one side of Chesant to the other, um, to uh, a little village sort of area or, or part of Chesant called Turnford. And um, I remember moving into this bungalow, sort of like um, mum, dad and sister, and um, buying this single. So I know exactly it was September um, 1983 when um, we sort of um, bought that. This one is Culture Club and Karma Chameleon.
Tune in to Radio Care's weekend special live or via podcast. Radio Care is hosted by Mike Howard, broadcasting from Coventry to the world. And I hope you're enjoying the show tonight. Yes, this is a weekend special. Um, Sometimes I do, or very often I do, sort of a a themed show. So I'll choose a particular era of music or maybe a fashion or something like that. And then I will sort of like find the tunes that sort of like go with it. I've also done a couple of tribute um, shows. So I've done a tribute to a band that I was in, Seeing Red, also a band called The Geezers um, that I played um, with. I've done sort of a tribute sort of to punk music, um, Northern Soul, all sorts of stuff sort of like that. But then I also do a sort of a a regular show um, where I'll go from playing music from the 60s um, up to sort of present day. Um, But of late, I've done a lot of these sort of special sort of theme shows and um, that's what I thought I'd stick with tonight. But you can listen to, there's a whole back catalogue of shows sort of um, to listen to and hopefully as you sort of like go through them, you'll listen and think, okay, yeah, it has sort of improved sort of like over time. You'll have to sort of let me know in the comments. And I'm on Facebook, so if you go on to a Radio Care hosted by Mike Coward, you'll find me on there um, and you'll be able to sort of, um, you know... Send in a, a request, um, sort of like to be added, um, and then you can keep up to date with the um, sort of uh, information uh, about shows that are up and coming. And when I sort of post the uh, playlist, because after each show, I type up a playlist um, so that you can sort of check out the songs that have been played that evening. So we're still sticking with the 80s. I'm not sort of uh, leaving this decade. And um, this one was one from Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. And this one is Say, Say, Say.
That one actually takes me back. That was Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson and Say 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 from 1983. It was um, on the Paul McCartney's album um, Pipes of Peace um, produced by George Martin um, who was also the producer for the Beatles and the song was recorded during the production of McCartney's 1982 album Tug of War um, about a year before the release of The Girl Is Mine which is another great song sort of by the pair um, and which they first um, did a uh, duet on um, Jackson's album of Thriller in 1982. After the release in October 83, Say 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 become Jackson's seventh top ten hit inside a year. It was number one in the United States, um, his sixth uh, number one single there, and Canada, Norway, Sweden, several other countries, reaching number two in the UK, and peaking within the top ten in Australia, Austria, New Zealand, and the Netherlands and Switzerland, and over 20 other uh, countries as well. It says in 2013, Billboard magazine listed the song as the 41st biggest hit of all time. And um, the Billboard Hot 100 charts, it has been voted the ninth best collaboration of all time in the Rolling Stones um, poll readers. See, that's what I love about Radio Care. I just fill you full of useless information that you'll never remember but I will because I'm that type of person. I like this sort of knowledge. So this one, next one, is one from Paul Simon. It's from his album Grossland, which came out in 1986. And this one is You Can Call Me Al. Why am I soft in the middle now? Why am I soft in the middle? The rest of my life is so hard. I need a photo opportunity. I want a shot of redemption. Don't want to end up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. Bone digger, bone digger, dogs in the moonlight. Far away, my well lit door. Just a beer, Melly, beer, Melly. Get these mutts away from me, you know. I don't find this stuff amusing anymore. If you'll be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. I can call you Betty, Betty, when you call me, you can call me out. A man walks down the street, he says, Why am I short of attention? Got a short little span of attention, and all oh, my nights are so long. Where's my wife and family? What if I die here? Who'll be my role model now that my role model is gone, gone? Be ducked back down the alley with some roly poly little bat faced girl. All along, along, there were incidents and accidents, there were hints and allegations. But if you'll be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. I can call you Betty, and Betty, when you call me.
And that was Paul Simon and You Can Call Me Al from 1986. As I mentioned, it featured on um, his studio album, in fact, his seventh studio album, Graceland. And it actually um, got to... Let's have a look. In the United States, it initially uh, fared poorly, only reaching number 44 on the Billboard Hot 100 um, in September of 86. Um it also uh, in the UK. Let's see where it got to in the UK. Got to in the UK. It became um, his biggest uh, solo hit, uh, spending five weeks in the top ten and peaking at number four in the October of '86. Um, so it actually sort of did better um, over here than it did in America. It did say after making a second entry on the Billboard Top 100 in the March of 87, um, it rose to peak at number 23 in the US charts. So we're sort of getting there sort of uh, through the set. I think we've probably got about another 15, 20 minutes left. Um, so it may just go over the sort of uh, two hours. So I hope you've enjoyed sort of what you've been listening to tonight. Just sort of check the latest figures and we're up to 15,601 people listening. So thank you very much for joining Radio Care. And if there's any new listeners, um, I hope you come back sort of uh, to listen uh, again um, maybe next week. Or even sort of uh, listen to some of the back issue ones. So if you go on to Spotify, Spreaker, um, you can even find it on YouTube. Um, if you type in Radio Care, hosted by Mike Howard, you should be able to sort of um, find um, some of them on there. And if you go onto the Facebook page, if you want to find the group um, for Radio Care, look up at Radio Care, hosted by Mike Howard, um, and you can sort of see the latest information, you know, what shows are coming up. Um, normally during the week, I'll actually post something up there just to say what's going to be happening um, at the weekend if there's any changes or anything like that so this next one is one from Spandau Ballet this one is um, probably uh, one of the very famous ones it's from 1983 it's not true but it was released I think on the album true this one is gold Sorry that the chairs are all warm I left them here, I could have sworn These are my salad days Slowly being eaten away Just another play for today Oh, but I'm proud of you, but I'm proud of you Nothing left to make me feel small
Now that is a classic. That was Spandau Ballet and Gold from 1983. To me, that sounded as though that should have been much later um, than 1983. I can't believe it's sort of like nearly 40 years ago. Um, but that song um, was in the charts. Um, like I said, it was um, taken from their third album, True. Um, it was the second second. Ch- Second highest charting single in both the United Kingdom and United States behind their previous release of True. Reaching number two on the UK singles charts, it was only held off by KC and the Sunshine um, Band, um, Give It Up, um, held it off the top spot, um, but it did reach number 29 on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts. So we're getting there with the show. We've still probably got about one, two, three, probably about four, five songs left to play. Um, I'll sort of do a quick sort of a check of them. So I hope you've really enjoyed um, what I've been playing tonight. Um, I've enjoyed the eighties. I can't go wrong with the eighties. Most people sort of tend to like it. Um, I can't say that I've met too, too many people that, uh, say no, they hate the eighties um, music. But it, you know, it was for my for me, it was my sort of era of uh, music and sort of growing up and being a teenager and going to college and all sorts of things like that. So this next one is one by um, Eighth Wonder. It's a song called I'm Not Scared and it was originally, um, it was written by the Pet Shop Boys and they did actually do a version of it. But this is a version by Eighth Wonder which featured um, Patsy Kensett um, as the uh, singer in the band. This was from 1988.
And that was Eighth Wonder and I'm Not Scared from 1988. As I said, it was originally um, written and recorded by the Pet Shop Boys, um, but the Eighth Wonder version um, was released um, for the album Fearless and it achieved success in France, Italy, Switzerland, Germany and the UK where they, it was all, all of them, it was a top ten hit. Um, yeah, great stuff. So this next one is one by um, Alison Moyet, and I've always liked Alison Moyet. Um, I think she's sort of got a great voice, and this one is from 1986. I thought it was much earlier, but it's 1986, and this one is Is This Love? What a great song that is. That was Alison Moyet and Is This Love from 1986. It was released on her second studio album, Rain Dancing, in 1987. 
and um, the song um, was written by Alison Moyet and Dave Stewart. Stewart also produced the song and uh, used the uh, pseudonym um, Gene um, Gula, Gula, um for his involvement in the song of Is This Love? Um, it says it was released as a single in 86 um, from the album that came out in 87, okay? And it became a big hit in the UK, Europe, and elsewhere in the world. Um, and it was also um, released um, as the album's lead single for the States, but failed to chart over there. Shame on them. Shame on them over there. Always reminds me, uh, many years ago... Um, You've heard me sort of mention my friend Paul at um, Bar 72. Um, a couple of times out of, uh, we went up to um, Scotland. We went up to Wishaw um, to see family sort of up there, but also to go and see Rangers play. We went to see Rangers and Motherwell um, sort of play. And um, went to a sort of couple of the bars. And there was one time we went out. I'm sure we went to East Kilbride. And there was uh, some fabulous singers sort of up there. And there was a woman got up and sung some Alison Moyet songs. And she was sort of perfect at the singing him songs. So whenever I hear Alison Moyet, I hear um, this person who was in a club. I'm sure in East Kilbride um, singing um, Alison Moyet uh, songs. So, um, yeah, just takes me back to that time. So we've got about three more songs left to play and then I'll sort of leave you in peace and you can enjoy the rest of your evening. This is um, one by Simple Minds. Now, I was listening to Radio 2 the other day and um, there was an acoustic version of um, this song um, uh, with a, a, an orchestra sort of came on. So um, I thought, why, why don't I just sort of uh, put a Simple Minds song on? This one is Don't You Forget About Me.
And that was Simple Mind and Don't You Forget About Me from 1985. It became hugely pop- popular after the uh, film um, The Breakfast Club, um, where it became uh, a number one hit in the US in the May of 85 and in Canada in June of 85. Um, it was also the band's only number one hit on the US um, top rock tracks, um, charting a, a top um, of the charts for three weeks. While only reaching number seven in the UK, it stayed on charts from 1985 to 1987, one of the longest um, time spans of any single in the history of the charts. So we've got two songs left. And um, I thought I'd go with some of these sort of uh, big hair ones from the um, mid to sort of late 80s. Sort of when the uh, sort of rock bands were becoming sort of really popular with the big hair. And uh, we're going to start off with um, one from Bon Jovi. It's Living on a Prayer and it always reminds me of um, going to college um, because it was 1986. And it's from their Slippery When Wet album, Living on a Prayer. Well, 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 well
Well, there that hasn't woke you up. That was Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi from 1986. Featured on their third album, Slippery When Wet, and it got to number one on the Billboard mainstream rock charts and was um, the second second consecutive number one that they had on the Billboard Hot 100. In Canada, it also got to number one, and in New Zealand, Norway, and um, some of the other charts in the US got to number one. In the UK, it got to number four, and in Australia, it got to number three. So sadly, we've reached the end of the show. Um, And um, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking that's like one whole year since uh, Radio Care sort of started exactly a night, you know, tonight. A year ago, 27th of February last year, um, I thought I'd give it a go in sort of setting up um, a internet type sort of radio podcast show. And I don't know, just to sort of say thank you, like I said, sort of like to the carers, but also just sort of for anyone who just fancied listening to me waffling and likes to sort of like know the random facts about the songs and things like that. So hopefully you'll listen to more of the shows and you'll let people know about it. And um, all that's left for me to say now is to um, have a good night. It's another loud one I'm playing. This one is The Final Countdown by Europe. And um, yeah, it's just sort of give it all that energy. Um, So take care, stay safe and... um, just want to say sort of prayers for um, the people in uh, Ukraine. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, you can't get away from it sort of on the news, um, sort of seeing what's going on. And my heart really goes out for the people. So, um, you know, we support them. This one is a final countdown. Good night, everyone. Bye.
If you love great music and some gentle banter, you're in the right place. Listen to Radio Care, broadcasting from Coventry.